Go ahead. Thank you. It depends. It depends. Where are you from? From UK. From Pakistan. Pakistan. No, no, he doesn't want to come. You want to come in the camera? Have discussions with people, and uh, it is best. This is only my advice. You don't have to take it. Islamic advice or personal it's advice? advice? So you have Islamic evidence for advice? Uh, probably not. Why, but, time, but, but can I give it any? You can decide. You might know better than me if it is Islamic. Islamic, according to your brain, from your pocket, or good evidence? Okay, let's say as a brother, as a friendly advice. Good. Okay. So what I would say is when we talk to people, whether they are Muslims or not Muslim, it doesn't matter, that uh, in order to portray a good image of Muslims, if we swear at people, that image of Muslims goes... Because remember, here in this country, they want to think bad of us anyway. If they see Muslims swearing, they will think even more bad of us. You know what I'm saying? So we need to... What, in the UK? 64 years. And you've been decent, no swearing, nothing. I, I'm very, very... Do you think the, the kuffar respect you and love you? No, probably not. But they will, they will disrespect me even more if I swear. Why you care about respect or disrespect from filth? No, because Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that when you go out, when you go out and you... Portray yourself as a Muslim, sorry. Okay. Uh, and you, uh, um, I'm paraphrasing, when you go and show yourself to the people, behave in a good way because it will reflect good on Islam. But if you go out and behave in a bad way, I'm paraphrasing, if you go out in a bad way, then it will reflect badly on Islam. So that's why... Yes. Yes. If someone attack your wife or the children, what are you going to do? Verbally attack or physically attack? Well, then obviously I defend them. You are terrorist. You are terrorist. Does your mother, your wife wear hijab or no? No, I don't want to go down to that kind of detail. It's not, yeah. But no, you can. No, 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 no. No, you can judge. Habibi, my friend, my dear friend. You sit friendly. I give you friendly. Now, if you defend your honor, you are terrorist. If you stick to your deen, you are fundamental. But we have to live our life according to our rules. No, no, rules. no, no, no. We have to work, live our life according to Allah rules. Yes, yes. Yeah? I don't care about you telling me I'm whatever. I don't care. What it, who I am in the eyes of Allah, in the sight of Allah, I don't care. i going to say the truth. I am not going to draw my pants. If you like me, no problem. If you don't like me, on your bike. I like you, it's not a problem. I don't, I'm not saying I don't like you. <laughs> if I say... You're my Muslim brother. No, no, no. But not all the Muslim, my brother. Because in Quran, Allah said, not the Muslim brothers. He said, إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِخْوَةً Not the Muslim. The believer. If the true believer, you are my brother. If you are a fake believer, I don't want to know you. I don't know about you. Yes? And the Prophet said, my, my nation will be divided to so many sects, all of them in the hellfire. So if someone carrying the name of my, the Muhammad Sam nation and you're going to hellfire, I'm free from him. The bastard here, yes, say they are free from me. Adnan Rashid. This, and that's it. I'm free. Why I'm free from me? Why you are free from someone never said any word against Islam? The bastard sent Muslim to jail now. Abu Qasim in jail. He snitched on him. And this hadith, you don't snitch on a Muslim. You take him home, you beat him up, you smack him, you bite him, but you don't hand him over. Uh, when uh, non-Muslims see the YouTube videos, and if they see Muslims swearing, they automatically think, "Ah, oh, I'm going. I'm going nothing to do with Islam. 
Because if this is what Islam is about, I can. Yeah. But we want to bring them to Islam. Really? Which Islam? The true Islam. Which Islam? Your Islam? My Islam? His Islam? Who, 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 who represents Quran and Sunnah in this corner? Don't tell me like this. No, please. You must. If you know Quran and Sunnah, so you know Quran and Sunnah. You said, I must represent Quran according to Quran and Sunnah. So do you know Quran and Sunnah? But do you know them? So why you said according to Islam and Sunnah? So if you know Quran and Sunnah, tell me who's in this corner? Propagate Islam according to Quran and Sunnah. So why you speak, brother? No, I'm speaking about, about me generally. That we should follow Quran and Sunnah. That's all I'm saying. I'm not pointing at fingers at anyone. Why you don't point fingers? Because I don't know what's in their mind. I don't know. I, this is my first visit Brother. to Speaker's Corner. Oh, I forgive you. Brother, <laughs> I don't know. I don't care about what's in this man's mind. But when he speaks, I care about what he said. I don't know what's in his heart. I don't care. But if he speaks, now I can I speak. So now, my advice to you, brother, don't judge Speaker Kona from first visit. This is a jungle. This is open mental hospital. This is a biggest trap for the Muslim. This is all the Muslim here making dawah to chop the balls of the real Muslim. You become cas 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 what castrated or what? What what the what? What the word? Castrated, yeah. You are? Castrated. Yeah. Castrated. You become man without, you're useless. They tell you to become bloody useless, dummy. Zombie man with no use. And this is not Islam, brother. Because I'm not going to say about the Prophet, but all the Sahaba have big balls. Big. No Sahabi was castrated. So I've got to go home. I, I thought he was finishing at 5 o'clock. Thank you. I didn't realize he was going to carry on to Thank seven. You advice. <laughs> yeah. Look after yourself, yeah. Search and come and yes. test me next week. No, no, I, I live in uh, Stafford. Where? Where is Stafford? Where is Stafford? Where is Stafford? Come to visit. Your son, come visit next week. No, I'll be back home on Friday, inshallah. Come again, brother. Take notes, do homework, and come and challenge me. May Allah bless you. Look after yourself, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Take care. What do you think, brother? I mean, it's good, like, uh, the problem, like, I've seen so many people, like, even in the videos, they're saying Uncle Omar should be more polite. He shouldn't swear at people. Brother, have but you I was just thinking, like, swear at you? no. Why? Why? I don't know. <laughs> you have to know, man. What do you mean? No, no. If you are rude to me, I swear I'm going to be rude at you straight away. But personally, it's not like you be rude to Allah or Muhammad Because this is different level. Give me one time I've been rude to someone like you. I said, if you, if you, mother, no. But the, but the. This bastard. See, this I is. Mean, don't swear, don't swear. When 12,000 been fucking chopped in Bosnia, what they did? What they did? When Chechnya, hundreds of thousand bombard, flattened, what they did? Kashmir, Rohingya, yesterday, Syria, one million. Don't swear, you son of a big. What? Have you spoken about this? Spoke about this? This level, brother. If I swear, do you sw do you complain? Which one is greater, swearing or killing one million? So why don't speak about killing one million? Because he's a bastard. Because he's a bastard. He come to me, don't swear. You son of a gun. One million died. Algeria, brother, one million. Who killed them? Legion Tranger, the French army, the French special forces. And Shamsi, the bastard, 
See, they are, they are. One million died like this, in, with, the, with the bloody virus, Corona. 30 years ago, Corona got, killed them. You have to be fair, brother. If you are a coward, cannot speak about anything, why you come talk to me? Why? I mean, some people have just like my... Personally, I've never seen any bad side of you or the bad likes. What I'm seeing, like, you know what I mean? Like, this brother, he's just trying to say it's like, you know, he's wearing and using maybe a strong language will drive maybe people away from Islam. I think this is what he's trying to say. You know what I mean? So... Brother, there's so many things in Islam. Allah Azim. These people, when they see it, they do U-turn. You know the land. You know the rule of the land. You know the things. We don't... They have... It's come back use, useless. Useless. If you are cut off, brother, if you are useless, why you come and give us lecture? Why? Shut up. Stay at home. Tell your mommy to in the nappy. Wash your legs and give you a bottle and sleep. If you are a man, come. And you have to prove. Are you a man? We have saying in Arabic. I don't know if you have it or no. You know before Islam, when a man die, they used to hire women to wail. You call them wailer, wailing. They scream and cry. All that, yeah. cry. But they said, لَيْسَتْ النَّاحَةُ الثَّكْلَ كَالنَّاحَةُ الْمُسْتَأْجَرَةِ If you go to the funeral, you don't have to be, uh, what you call, you don't have to be smart to know who's the real widow. Because the real widow cry from her heart. The other one, they are rented. Come and cry two hours. Come and cry three hours. Huh? I... Al-Matagia. This is what call Matagia. Look, everybody from Arabia clap their hands. And you tell me, these are not bastards? Look how they dance, look. I mean, it's okay, but what, what if you don't say bastards? You just leave to no, no. There is a, there's Nasheed saying, مَا هُمْ بِأُمَّةِ أَحْمَدٍ مَا هُمْ وَالَّذِي فَطَرَ السَّمَاءِ By Allah, they are not from the nation of Muhammad. If you, I told you before, I'm going to tell you again, brother. If you link yourself if you are Ashanti and say you are a Zulu, you are a bastard. If you are... So like, what do you actually mean by saying bastard? They are not related. They are not... That means someone is, some, someone is liar. Is that what you mean by saying bastard? No, no. Lying is different than when you lie. Did you eat, brother? No. Do you have money? No. This is lying. But when you say I am a Muslim and you are not, you are a bastard. Not lying. I know. And this, I don't, do you believe, brother? Honestly, do you believe one point, I don't know how much, Muslims? Muslims? The Sahaba, when they were 313, the Prophet Hassan told them, the nation will come upon you and eat you. And the Sahaba got crazy. And he said, how come? Are you going to be less than this? said, no, that day you're going to be plenty. But you are like the scums of the Torah and the scum of the flood. Look at this, brother. You tell me this man, brother? How come? How come, brother? How come you sell the Jannah if you are a Muslim? How come you sell Allah for money? And you see someone, if you tell him, you bastard, you son of a bitch, he get upset. And when you, because of the language. And when you insult Allah, you don't get upset. When you insult Muhammad Salam, you get nothing upset. Is this Islam? He's not Muslim because Allah said in the Quran, if you love eight things more than Allah and his messenger, you are out of it. What are they? Your fathers. 
وأبناءكم your sons وأزواجكم your wife وإخوانكم your brothers وعشيرتكم your tribes وأموال اقترفتموها money you are gain وتجارة تخشون كذا عن business you scared for ومساكن ترضونها and home dwelling you love wait in fear till Allah doom you you telling me about these Muslims when you go wallahi brother wallahi I got money but when my wife buy me something expensive I smack her we wait for the sale we buy trousers three pound five pound the same ticket sixty pound not because I'm stingy but I use the money different I use the money different I don't go holiday I don't the Muslim cannot go holiday which bastard of this Saudi go holiday to Africa not the jungle to hotel and they have good time they pay money for the hotel and they support the restaurant. Why do you go to uh, Senegal or Guinea or Guinea? Why? And there's a coast and there's fish. My sister went to Africa and she talked about pineapple and uh, this fruit. She went, she got crazy when she saw the fruit. She got crazy. She said, I never seen something like it in my life. Why, mother? Why are you coming to this bus and spend your money here? I mean, maybe this is the, the... I used to have chauffeuring company. Eh? This bastard, I used to take them only airport. Elite airport. Chauffeuring. I don't know about it. I don't want to do it. I take them for airport, coming and going. If you see this bus, how much he spend, mother? How much shopping? Why? Why you don't go, brother, to Africa? Why don't you go Indonesia? Beautiful. Pakistan, Malaysia, Philippines. Why you don't go? You go to Philippines to shag girls? Why you don't support the Muslim in Philippines? Go holiday. Even it's haram to go to holiday in Islam. It's haram. Is it haram at all to go holiday? The Prophet said, My Muslim holiday? Is jihad. But how come, like, we are living in a where are we living now, right? How how come we go to for jihad? Because most people even don't know, right? Going into Kufar country is haram. People, most of us, depending depending on the ram in every Why? country. Why? Why? Why don't go back to your country? Why don't support your own people? Why don't go support Muslim? In any poor country. Why don't go to Asia in a Muslim country? Why you go to Italy? Why you gonna see in Italy? Just ring? Why don't why you go to Rivera? Who, who screwed all the African country? Why you go to France? Why, brother? Why? At least go back and be practical supporter. Good to know that. You know, I mean, most people, to be honest, most Muslims don't know going for holiday. Going to holiday they, is they are devil. There is no. Don't tell me they don't know, brother. The cat, when the cat is steal piece of meat, she go and eat it under the bed because she knows she's guilty. But if you give her food, she eat it in front of you. Every devil of this, no. But he pretended, I don't know. Why don't you know, you son of a gun? You know how to watch football? You know how to play games? You know how to do uh, this and that? Why this you don't know? Why, brother? Whom you are cheating, brother? Whom you are cheating? You can't cheat yourself. You can't cheat your family. You can't cheat people. But you cannot cheat Allah, the Almighty. You cannot cheat the Almighty, Al Alim, the All Knower. How are you going to cheat him? 
Unless you are fool, you are idiot. You cannot cheat Allah. You have phone. You have access to all the books. But if you devil, when you see the truth, you're going to turn around. If you're good, when you see something good, you're going to grab it. This is good. But I like if you go in the market. Sunday market, when you see something good. When you see a car, 2003, oh, this bargain. Why you know all the bargains? And when coming to Islam, I don't know. I cannot be, it's not clear. Who are you cheating, brother? Who are you cheating? And if you, brother, all these people calling to Islam are bastard killers. You know why? Because when you see killing and you consent, you don't talk, you are partner killer. You have to denounce killing. You have to face it with your hand. If you weak with your tongue, if you weak with your heart, which bastard here denounced the killing? That's cutting a reporter pieces. Why don't say this is, why they say I'm free from you? Why do you don't say I am free from the bastard who kill people? There's no reason. Uh, they are getting angry, but on you, because of what you say. But uh, I think that's why I see like so many. 67, gonna be 68 next month. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. I cannot be coward now. I could hit the pocket tomorrow or yesterday. I cannot be coward. Even they attack me, I, I, I'm standing there, drop dead. There is no excuse for me, brother. What, to make money? To have a job? To have a house? I don't want nothing. But if you coward and you're scared for other things, you don't blame me. Say you son of a gun coward. Like Shamsi said, if I say what you said, I go to jail. So, you are not saying the truth because you are a bastard coward. Yes? He didn't say what I'm saying is haram. Or if he say what I said, he go to jail. Okay, I said that he didn't go to jail. And I don't care, honestly, if I go to jail or not. The jail now, to me, is less than the jail in the day of judgment. Brother, you have a job, you have a duty to your family, to your neighbor, to your community, to your country, to the Muslim nation. In the Lebanon, your body, you have duty to your body, to your neighbor, due to your neighbor, due to your family, due to your country, due to the Muslim. And this doesn't mean if you do this, I'm not gonna do this. But Wake up, pump yourself, not in the gym like this bastard and, and try to be sexy, no, morally, be strong. May Allah bless you and may Allah bless you. Wow, that was powerful, you know. Wow. Wallahi, the scholar said, whatever come from the heart, 